Hi students, now let's see the continuation of the application layer. So in the previous video, I just explained about the client server model. Now let's see the different protocols that are present in the application layer. The application layer protocols divided into two categories. One is the protocols which are used by the users and the protocols which help and support protocols used by the user. Okay, the total application layer protocols are divided into application layer protocols are divided into two types. One which are used by users, used by users and another which help and support protocols, help and support protocols used by user. Both are used by users. But one is directly used by the users and the next protocol, next uh, division, next category is which is going to help and support the protocols used by the users. So protocols which are used by the users or example is email, direct email communication. And whereas the protocols which help and support protocols used by the users are DNS, domain name system or a service. Now let's see what are the different application layer protocols that are present. The first one, let's take domain name system, DNS. Domain name system. The domain name system works on client server model. So the first thing is, uh, this domain name system is going to work on the client server model. That is clear. It is an internet service that translates domain names into IP address. So what exactly the domain name system? The domain name system is nothing but it is an internet service that going to translate domain names into IP address. So whatever we are giving that domain name is going to convert it into IP address. What is a domain name actually? So let's take a www. Um, let's take gmail.com. So this completely you call it as a domain name. So this domain name is going to translate into IP address. Then only the system can understand. The network layer can understand only the numbers in the uh, binary format. So first this domain name is converted into decimal numbers like suppose 198 point something something dot like. And again this will be converted into binary format like that. Then the network layer can understand what exactly the destination was and that uh, it will reach to the destination. Okay. So this is this is a domain name server. Okay. Service system that is uh, present in the application layer. The, the user can interact. That is used by the user. And uh, this will uh, this domain name system which helps and support the protocols used by the user. Okay. So don't be confused. Uh, DNS and works as a client server model the first thing and next it is an internet service that translates the domain name into so this is a domain name this domain name is translated into IP address with the help of the domain name system okay so let's see here the example a domain name www.educationforyou.com okay this is our site so this might be translated to 198.105.232.4 okay each octant it specifies the address where exactly that location was that so with the help of the domain name system uh, uh, we can understand the domain name so that domain name translates into ip address with the help of dns okay that is a protocol dns protocol and coming to the next protocol that is a smtp protocol SMTP simple mail transport protocol so what is the use of this simple mail transport protocol so it is an in internet standard for email transmission this protocol is used for the email transmission generally used for the email transmissions simple mail transport protocol connections are secured with SSL secure socket layer so whatever the email transmissions you are doing uh, with the help of smtp protocol there the connections are secured by using secure socket layer in smtp the messages are stored 
and then forward it to the destination. The main use of the SMTP is here the messages are stored. SMTP stores the messages and then forward to the destination. It, it can't directly forward the message. Whatever it is received, it can't directly forward the message. First, it stores the message and then forward it to the destination. So, usually the SMT uses a port number of 25 of TCP product. So, the port number, it's a default. It's generally SMTP protocol uses the port number 25. Okay. So, let's continue the remaining protocols, uh, application layer protocol in the next video. Thank you.